Lights, right. lights, camera, yeah. lights, Everyone camera, action. Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team and today we're gonna to be doing a how-to video and today we're gonna to do a how to add your NDI cameras into OBS studios. We get a lot of questions on how to do this. Um, this is a really simple steps and you just gotta have a plug-in, you have to have your cameras on your network, uh, but our brand new BG Adamo 4K cameras are NDI enabled HX3, um, so it makes for setup a really easy, makes for broadcasting really easy as well. As you know, NDI sends your video audio control all through your network cable, so you don't have to, if you have a camera that's far away, um, as long as it's plugged into a network switch, it'll be powered up, but also it'll send back everything you need, so you don't need to run HDMI over extenders, you don't need to run SDI. All you have to do is everything is just that one cable. Um, and I know a lot of you out there use OBS Studios as your production studio there, um, so, and it makes it really easy to add those those cameras in. So first thing I'm gonna go over is our setup. As you can see, we have two of our BG Adamo cameras. We have a 25X and a 12X or vice versa. Um, and so I know you, a lot of you have multiple cameras. And so um, these cameras are already networked to our local network. If you have not done that yet, go ahead and check out this video up here on how to network your cameras, your Adamo cameras to your network. So, cause for everything to talk, everything has to be on the same network. And I'm sure if you're live streaming through NDI with OBS2, Studios, um, I'm sure you're going to be live streaming to your through your local network. Um, we have the cameras plugged into our local network switch, our PoE switch, as well as our computer, our host computer as well. Um, so everything's on the same network so they can easily talk to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. First thing we're going to do is log into each camera and, and make sure NDI is enabled, uh, label it as well, and turn, um, turn some options on and then we'll go through the rest. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first we're going to do is log into each camera. This I already have it pulled up here. Um, each of them are networked to our local network. And so I'm gonna go ahead and log in with that new IP for this camera. Admin, admin, and boom, there we are. Our beautiful awards, here we go. So I'm gonna go configuration. First thing I wanna do is check NDI. Um, so make sure NDI is enabled. Out of the box, these are gonna be enabled. I'm gonna turn on HX3, that's what I want. And then NDI name, I'm gonna call this NDI camera, just to keep it simple, camera one. Group you don't have to worry about, I would keep that at public. And then hit save. And I'm gonna go ahead, and that's all I need for this camera. Go ahead and reboot that. So that camera's gonna reboot. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my second camera. This is gonna be NDI camera two. Admin, admin. Oh yeah, there's some awards there. Um, NDI, oh that one's already enabled, so that's good. So we'll, do, we'll call this NDI camera two. NDI camera two. Okay, so I know which camera is which. And this is way, this way you can see which cameras, which NDI stream you're pulling in and it's labeled. So it's not just a bunch of, by default it's a bunch of uh, numbers and stuff. So I'm gonna hit save, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna reboot that as well. So now we wanna do is a couple things you need. Since the, in, these cameras are NDI ready and NDI enabled, a couple things you need is the in, new tech NDI tools package. Um, you need to go ahead and download that as well as the NDI plugin for OBS Studios. And actually you can find all this on our website. So if you go to our website, if you go to support, we actually have an article, um, on our knowledge base article, on how to add, um, we have some of our other NDI cameras to uh, OBS Studio. So how to add your NDI camera to OBS Studio. And then there's gonna be a bunch of links on here. Um, you need to install OBS Studios, NDI Tools, and then the NDI plugin. So just go ahead and click on those links and then follow the prompts to uh, download the plugin. And once the NDI plugin is installed, go ahead and reset your computer. I've done all that already. Um, but also what's great about NDI, the new tech NDI tools, you can confirm your NDI stream is, uh, is good. So I'm actually gonna do that real quick. So I'm gonna to go to my windows here. I'm gonna go down to my NDI tools, I got NDI 5 here, and then I'm gonna go to in Studio Monitor. I'm just, so this is a great way to confirm your NDI stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the hamburger up here, NDI HX, see, it's already labeled up here, NDI camera one and camera two. So click on that, 
boom. So that, that, this means my network connection, my NDI stream is there, my computer and everything's talking well. And actually in here, you can actually control the camera as well in NDI Studio, which is great. And let's confirm in the camera two. And let's just switch over real quick. And there we go, we're pulling it in. So we're confirmed on that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and open up OBS Studios. And there we go. Open up, I'm gonna create a new scene. I'm gonna add in my first NDI camera. As you can see right here, NDI source. Um, if the plugin is not installed, this will not show up. So make sure you get that plugin. And then I have the newest OBS 28. Um, and so there is a plugin for that if you're wondering. NDI source, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna also label this NDI camera one, hit okay. And then just go source name in my drop down. You'll see everything that is NDI, NDI camera one. And hit okay, give it a sec, it'll pop up, boom, right away, there's my feed. Um, so you got that. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a second scene so I could switch between the cameras. So I'm gonna go to scene two, and then I'm gonna add in another NDI source. And then I'm gonna call this NDI cam two hit okay go to the drop down and then camera two and boom as you can see the camera is also when it's active it has the red lights and so now i got camera two and then if i switch over to scene one i'll switch between and then red lights on here as well so there you go, I have both my cameras in. And so you can control these if you have a joystick, you can control them with your Studio NDI Studio Monitor, you can control them from the web interface, but you got the video NDI feed coming in here, HX3, so you got the highest bandwidth at the lowest, um, it's not taking as much bandwidth, but at the highest quality. Well, there you have it, GearHeads. As you can see, a really easy uh, process, just as long as everything's turned on, network correctly, have the right plugins and the right tools, uh, you should be good to go. Um, it's a really, uh, it might take a couple steps to get things going, but once it's all set up, just don't touch anything, because <laughs> you should, probably should be good. Um, if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. We'll get back to you, you know, as soon as we can. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these, so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out. And as always, have a great day.